Today I want to show you how I connect an external monitor to my gimbal. Right now I'm using an, my PC monitor as an external monitor, but of course I cannot put the, this big monitor on my gimbal. I'm using the Xion Crane gimbal. It is a monitor, I have this Andy Scene A6. It's a very nice monitor, it's, it's like a copy of the small HD monitor, but it's much cheaper. It's around 180 bucks. Some, some gimbals have here like uh, something to screw in. And this is very nice because you can mount a monitor or a microphone here. But what this Xeon, Xeon Crane has is it has here on the on the bottom of the gimbal it has like a like a, a mount for a for a tripod. And on, on this mount I can I can add some accessories. What I have here is like an L bracket and I can put this, this bracket on the bottom of the gimbal. I can even add another tripod because it has a, a screw mount on the bottom. So I can, I can put this on a table if I don't need the gimbal. The problem is here if I use this, this bracket which is included in the monitor, I have this, the monitor too high. And and with the, with my gimbal, it it's it kind of uh, here touches the gimbal. But if I use, for example, this this like a, a screw here, this small uh, hot shoe or cold shoe adapter, then I can mount the monitor lower. And now I don't have the problem that the that the gimbal touches the monitor. But now, now I cannot uh, change the, the angle of the of the monitor, which is a kind of a disadvantage. This this solution is very nice because it's it's a very solid construction. There's nothing nothing moving if I if I if I tighten the screws properly. There's nothing moving. I can also hold I can also hold it on the handle. There is no problem, and I can hold it with both hands to have a more stable footage. Another solution that you maybe find most often in videos on YouTube is to use a magic arm like this. This, this works like this. You have here a clamp to put it on an object like the column of the, of the gimbal. Then here you have an arm, you loosen the screw, and then you can change every joint of the magic arm. The magic arm is very nice. You could, could, could put it, for example, here on the bottom of the gimbal. If you don't have a screw hole here, this is like a replacement. The problem I'm having with this, this magic arm is that this, this clamp, you really have to tighten it very hard so that it doesn't, doesn't like uh, move around the, the gimbal if you just hit this magic arm. This part, if you put the monitor on it, it's also, you also have to tighten it very hard. And, and if you tighten it so hard on the gimbal and on the field monitor, you could damage the field monitor or the gimbal. This, this solution with the L joint is much more solid because these, these joints, they cannot change. So my last solution to mount a field monitor on a gimbal is maybe my favorite one and the most solid. The, the idea is to put the, the field monitor here directly on this screw. For this, I use a Arca Swiss compatible plate that I put on the gimbal and the Arca Swiss compatible clamp that I put on the field monitor. I'll show you quickly how I do it. The blade. This blade, you can also use it to put the, the gimbal on a tripod. If you have like, like a tripod that is that has an Arca Swiss compatible clamp. I fear this, this, I use this, this small like adapter screw. It's like male to male. But you could also, if you have a long enough screw, you could also put the screw directly through this clamp. This field monitor has a hot shoe attachment, a cold shoe attachment, but also a screw mount to put on a tripod. So I can I can put this Arca Swiss blade here. Okay. So now I can go and put this put this monitor on the bottom of the gimbal 
And this nice I can I can quickly put it and quickly remove it again. So I can still use this uh, this uh, this bracket of the of the monitor and I can change the angle of the of the field monitor. I can also use it to to film upside down. Then I have the monitor on top. The disadvantage of this setup is that it's uh, that I cannot put the, the gimbal down. If I want to put it down, I have to lay it down like this. Also, it's much harder to balance the gimbal because I cannot put it put the tripod here on the bottom and put it on the ground and then change then balance it. But the advantage of this setup is that it's it's a very solid setup. There, there's this is this connection is is very strong. Also, the the monitor is in the in the center of gravity. So there's nothing much that I, that can happen that puts this uh, this connection out of out of order. I think this is my preferred solution to, to mount it on the bottom. If you have like a Xeon crane and cannot mount it to the side of the gimbal, or to use this fixed bracket, I think this is my second second favorite solution. But the magic arm I don't recommend because it's very easy that you drop that some, some screw is opening and it's not, not very tight and you, you lose your valuable uh, field monitor or you destroy your gimbal. So I hope you liked my video. If you like it, please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel to future videos like this. See you next time. Bye.